There's a lot of people wondering, how did that beat Earl Spence Jr. tonight? It was Victor Conte, thanks to Victor Conte's snack program, I was able to beat Earl Spence Jr. I mean, I knew I couldn't just face Earl Spence Jr. naturally. You know, I had to train hard, you know what I'm saying? So the juice will work. The juice is not something that's just going to, you know, win by itself. You know, I had to use skill and I had to use, I mean, we've been juicing for at least two years, you know what I'm saying, to get the size and the extra muscle to be able to uh, push Earl Smith Jr. back. And, um, you know, it's going to be a lot of people who don't like that. You know, a lot of people hate on me. A lot of people would call, you know, the Victor Conte juice program cheating. Well, I paid for every penny for the for the uh, program. So I, I don't think I cheated him at all. And we knew, I mean, come on. I mean, I feel like I'm 25 years old. Um, you know, I mean, I'm 36 years old. So how else do you think? I'm going to move that fast, you know what I'm saying, at 36 years old. It's just common sense. Plus, we knew Errol Smith Jr., you know, he couldn't make 147, so we stretched out the time. And, you know, I did my part, you know, not to stretch out the fight by fighting David Avenesian and staying away from Errol Smith Jr. until we knew he couldn't make the weight. So now people got to recognize me as the best fighter in the world because I just beat Errol Smith Jr., you know, I don't care what people say. Was it fair? You know, the juice and the, to wait them out at 147. You know what I'm saying? That's just a matter of opinion, you know. So now I don't know if I want to rematch or not, but I just got to see how much juice I got left. Um, you know what I'm saying? Whatever Victor got over there, you know what I'm saying, to help me. You know what I'm saying? He might put me over the edge, you know, and, you know, it'll be at 154. So we'll see.